I'll call the September 8, 2015 Board of Supervisors meeting to order. It is 5.09 p.m. We do have a quorum. And uh, first uh, item on the agenda is closed session. I entertain a motion. Okay. I go ahead and uh, move that with county convene in a closed meeting to discuss uh, the county administrator position and also to meet with legal counsel about potential contract litigation and potential contract uh, collection litigation with EVATRAN pursuant to the exemptions found in the Virginia Code 2.2-3711A. Uh, that would be sections 1 and section 7. I have a second for a motion going closed session. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Mr. Dr. Hausman? Aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Motion passes six with one absent. We're now in closed session. I'll entertain a motion to come out of closed session. I'll make that motion. I have a second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right, I'll read the resolution. Whereas the Wythe County Board of Supervisors has convened a closed meeting on this date pursuant to an affirmative recorded vote in accordance with the provisions of the Virginia Freedom of Information Act, and whereas Section 2.2-3712 of the Code of Virginia requires a certification by the Wythe County Board of Supervisors that such a meeting was conducted in conformity with Virginia law, now therefore be it resolved that the Wythe County Board of Supervisors hereby certifies that to the best of each member's knowledge, only public business matters lawfully exempted from open meeting requirements by Virginia law were discussed in the closed meeting to which this certification and resolution applies and only such public business matters as were identified in the motion convening the closed meeting were heard, discussed, or considered by the Lick County Board of Supervisors. I have a second on the resolution. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Housman? Aye. 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 Uh, the chair votes uh, uh, We're out of closed session and we'll be in recess until 7 p.m. We was in recess from a 5 o'clock closed session. I don't see uh, uh, Jim Turnell from Baker's Chapel. I'm going to ask uh, Reverend Gary Housman, <laughs> Dr. Gary Housman. <laughs> like whatever. <laughs> to say the invocation and please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Let's pray. Father, we are thankful that we can gather here tonight to go about the business of the county. Father, we pray that as we, we go through this meeting and through our deliberations that everything that we do will, will honor you and will help the citizens of our community. Father, give us the courage and the discernment and the cooperation and a heart of forgiveness and a heart of love as we transport <clears throat> through, this, through this meeting and through all the business that we have to do. We ask it all in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America. America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I will note for the record we have a quorum. We have some uh, business to take care of before we get into a, the agenda uh, concerning our closed meeting. I'll entertain a motion. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we uh, terminate the employment of Alan Lamberson effective September 3rd. I have a second. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Housman? Aye. 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 And the chair votes aye. Mr. Dalton? our discussion you want to 
Mr. Chairman, members of the board, uh, based off your action, uh, I would offer that uh, if the board so deems fit, that uh, I would continue as county administrator on a couple of conditions. One condition is pass a comprehensive fiscal exam that proved that uh, I'm capable of uh, withstanding the rigors and the stress of the job. And uh, the second, that, uh, that, would, that the board, because your own rules of procedure last year and this year, you accepted my resignation uh, and uh, that that has to be brought up by the board and to the uh, overturn those two acceptances and change the terms of the back to the original employment agreement. Well, I'll entertain a motion to extend uh, Mr. Dalton to expense with his retirement or <laughs> um. well, I'll make a motion that we um, go back to the terms of the employment agreement remove the uh, retirement date. I have a second. I'll second that. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Mr. Horney? Aye. 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 The chair votes aye. Okay, with that being taken care of, we have citizens time. We'll go into our agenda. I have Maxine Waller. Has <coughs> Good to see you, Ms. Maxine. Will you give your name and address? My name and address? Yes, sir. Well, it's uh, Maxine Waller, and I live in Ivanhoe, Virginia, 24350 at, on 544 Painters Hill Road. Thank you. And I'm with the Ivanhoe Civic League. That's who I represent here tonight. Okay. I'm president of that organization. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. We're ready. <laughs> well, I'm ready too. We have approached the board. We would like ten thousand uh, dollars. We are a five hundred one c three nonprofit, and uh, uh, we have a committee put together that we'd like to have a a really large gospel singing at Fort Chiswell High School in the spring of two thousand sixteen. Uh, this singing would benefit the school as well as us, the uh, high school band. It's tentative yet has said that they would sell the food for the event. And we would take the profits from the singing and roll it back to more. We do a lot of community work. If you read my letter before, we do a lot of community work. And uh, we work and support a lot of things that uh, happen in the county and uh, I'm open for questions. Okay, does anybody have any questions? May, I do. Okay. Maxine, would you mind telling them what all the city group does? Well, I'll try. Um, <coughs> I can't believe I'm nervous, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> After all these years, why am I nervous? Hey, I don't know if that means the rest of them are scary. <laughs> <laughs> well, there ain't no woman up here for one thing. We need to <laughs> rectify that. <laughs> I got a lot of opinions about a lot of things, y'all know that. <laughs> the Civic League holds an annual Christmas party each year, and we do about 50 children, and we feed... Um, uh, we fix food boxes for about 250 families. Uh, that's all free to everybody. And we do not do it by economics. So if you're working, you can still get a food box. But we primarily think about the senior citizens and make sure that they get a lot of soup, a lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables. We set the boxes up that way. And we cheat. If we find out a family needs something, then we provide it. If kids need clothes and need a size 10 slim, then somehow there's a size 10 slim in his package. 
and uh, uh, we worked with the county sheriff's department in uh, working with community uh, uh, time citizens that have committed a crime and uh, uh, need to do community hours. We uh, uh, first thing they do is pick up trash and uh, uh, on one of the state roads there in Abaddon. And we have, do go out as far as uh, the Piney section. Uh, we have, uh, we worked with New River Valley Correctional Center, working with the trustees. We, uh, uh, what is do we do? I was looking to see if my friend came in, but she didn't. Um, Y'all do it. Oh, we have all kinds of parties for the kids. All year long we have parties for the kids. And it's all free. And they all come and they have a great time. And they eat. In the, in the, at other times we're available for anybody that has a need. We have a college volunteer program where we bring students from all over the world, including Russia and Japan. And they come and help us fix people's houses, clean the senior citizens' homes. Anytime we have students, they clean citizen, senior citizens' homes, and they love it. Have kids in their house, they love it. And right now, I can't think of anything else going on. I mean, there's more, <laughs> but I don't, I don't have it written down in front of me. I got my notes from the, from the gospel singing, and I've talked with the, with the principal at the school, and we've got tentative dates. I talked to Ron, no, Guy Penderod. And uh, I've talked with the Gaithers. I've talked with um, uh, the Singing Cook family, the Singing Spencers. Um, so anyway, we're we're really working on the singing. I mean, on the singing. All right. Say, so how much do you have in your treasury now? Treasury right now? You really don't want to know. <laughs> we have three hundred and fifty-eight dollars. And the reason we only have $358 is because every time we get a dime, we spend it. And everybody said, we'll save you money. That's not what a nonprofit's for. We're not <coughs> holding on to money. We're helping people. And we're spending our money as we get it. And right now, the reason, one of the reasons we've come before you all tonight is that in Ivanhoe and in the Fort Chis Chiswell area, there's only so many people can have car washes and hot dog sales. And it, there's churches, like Ivanhoe has seven churches, and they're always having a hot dog sale. And then you got the odd fellas, and you got the fire department. Fire department has something about every weekend. And it's just harder and harder and harder. And we, if you sell a hot dog, you buy a hot dog. So it ends up the same money falling over. So. Anybody have any other questions? I like how she explains about the money keep falling over because I've thought that many times with fire department stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we'd have been better off just giving them 20 bucks and yeah. not even done a fundraiser. Yeah. <laughs> you have a, a like a breakdown of how you're going to spend the money? Yes, sir. I do. Okay. Uh, we're going to spend $5,000 on the sinking. Sinking. And we're going to spend the other $5,000 on support. We got to have a computer. Our computer went to the bed. We got to have a computer, and we need some administration money. Can you re put that in writing? Yes, sir. I can. Yes, sir. I can. Refer it to the budget committee at, for their next meeting, and we'll bring it up at the next. Our at next the next meeting. meeting. Our next meeting. Okay, I'll be here. Uh, and uh, sorry, whatever y'all need, Excuse please, me, sir. Excuse me, just a minute. The Civic League owns their own building. Yes, sir. You yes, sir. Keep that heated. Yes, sir. He did. We've got to have insurance for the singing, so there's quite a quite a few things that's, you know, that the things under the table that you don't know about, like well, just, heat, electricity. You know, get all that stuff together in writing and and give it to Mr. Dalton. Okay. And I'll, he'll ha get it to the budget committee. Okay. And when is the budget committee meeting? The budget committee is uh, by what I see here is uh, September the 17th. Next yeah. Thursday. Okay. We'll get it to you right away. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I guess I'm done. Thank you. And I thank y'all for letting me come before you. Thank Next you. time I won't be so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh,
Uh, no one else has signed up, but I see Dennis come in. Would you like to address the board? Do you have anything? You, want, you just come visiting? <laughs> okay. Does anyone else in the gallery like to address the board? Hearing none, I'll close citizens' time. Next item on the agenda is the minutes of the previous meetings for August the 25th and August the 31st. Entertain a motion. Make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. To have a second. <coughs> second the motion. Have a motion and a second to approve the minutes <coughs> of August the 25th and August the 31st, 2015. Any discussion, any corrections or changes? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Housen? Aye. 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 Chair votes aye. Next item on the agenda is payment of invoices. I entertain a motion. Mr. Chairman, I move to pay the invoice. I have a second. I'll second it. I have a motion and a second to pay the invoices. Any invoice, any board member would like to discuss? Hear none, I'll do a roll call vote. Mr. Horney? Aye. Yeah. Aye. 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 Okay, moving right along. Old business. Mr. Dalton, anything under old business? No, the only thing important is we close on the property down at uh, exit 77. It's been recorded. It's paid for your property. Okay. Anything else? Okay. I have a question. Do you have any idea about is a new ambulance been delivered yet for lead mines? I did not know. Okay. Find out okay. Anything else? Yeah. Okay, moving into new business with Whipple Community College. Dr. Sprinkle, would you like to come up and address the board? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think just two or three minutes I've met uh, several of the folks here and uh, had a warm welcome from uh, all of you just as we have for the uh, the whole community here since my wife and I joined the college here in uh, July. Um, <coughs> the college enjoys an incredible reputation. Uh, I'm very proud and pleased to be uh, selected to be the president uh, of the college going forward. Now, just hit two or three highlights of things that are going on uh, with, with your college, your community college right now. Um, one of the big ones is uh, we're going, undergoing reaffirmation of accreditation and, and at the end of October we'll have a team come on campus uh, there and finish up things. Uh, so we're working diligently on that. Um, there's been, as you all know, being local here, there's a lot of transition going on at the college. Uh, Charlie White uh, heading out as president and somebody said, was I going to try and fill his shoes? And I, you know, I'm, I'm wiser than that. I may try and follow <laughs> in his footsteps, but I don't think anybody can fill Charlie's shoes for sure. Uh, but we do have a lot of transition going on at our college right now. We've got a change in the leadership. We've got two new deans. We've got a new vice president uh, of instruction and uh, student services. We've got a, a position for a workforce development uh, person who will be filling uh, that soon, hopefully. Uh, and that's very important to our community. As you know, we want to work with our workforce development and economic development folks uh, and efforts in the, in the community. Certainly want to continue the, the good work that uh, the groundwork that's been laid for the dual enrollment and the opportunities that that affords uh, many of our youth who otherwise might not be able to uh, to attend college. And one of the things that's really big for Withful Community College right now, I, I've just been astounded at the percentage, the high percentage of online uh, courses that we deliver. So we're really going to focus a lot on making sure that those are quality in the, in the delivery of that. So uh, just hitting some of those highlights, Mr. Chairman, I, I would entertain any questions if you have any. But uh, the last thing I'll say is uh, uh, we are just tickled to death to be here. We've settled over in rural retreat, uh, but love the whole area here. It's gorgeous. Well, I'd like to welcome you to Wyth County, and uh, glad you're here. Does anybody have any questions? No, if he'd have gone another mile, he'd have said Cedar Springs. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's true. We are just on the cusp. <laughs> that's a nice community up there. We've so been very well enjoy it. Thank you, sir. I have a question about yes, the workforce development, Dr. Sprinkle. Last week I met with Dr. Perry. I don't know whether you've talked to him since or not, but we're in dire need of a robust <coughs> training program uh, and hopefully can work with revamping 
uh, high school vocational yes, to give college credit like they do in so many academic courses and then get their finishing with you guys and have them work ready for industry. Yes, sir. We, we've got to build an educated workforce to fill out the, the total picture for economic development in the county. And any way the board can help, uh, also I hope you can reach out to New River and see if they can be part of it as a regional concept because they've got such good long-serving pro uh, programs down there that have international representation. And I know you guys can work together. And if we can include the public school system in some way, it seems like to me we can produce a finished product more economically and uh, quicker. And we really need it quicker than instead of a long time in planning. Right. I'll, if, if I may, I'll add uh, just a couple more comments based on that question. Uh, I think you're absolutely right. I think uh, if you look at what the we hear that term skills gap and that's what the employers say they need and, and the statistics or the, the description that I've seen and read is that for every graduate or professional degree you need two bachelor's levels and seven uh, folks who have something post high school it's probably more like an associate's degree uh, there's a number of challenges with that uh, one of those challenges has to do with with another gap and that's referred to as the interest gap a lot of our students in the schools aren't aware of the quality of these jobs the the good living wage that you can get and we've got to work with our school partners and help them get a better understanding of that uh, the systems are different a little bit in North Carolina and Virginia that the school the college that I came from we had a very strong partnership working with our school systems I'm talking with Dr. Lori Hufford and I've talked with uh, some of the superintendents uh, in the in our service area and I think that's what it's going to take for us it's, we're going to have to collaborate and work together we work closely with Virginia Highlands, and I know we do uh, have a good working relationship with New River as well. So it is about partnerships and collaboration. An area like ours at <coughs> rural, uh, we, we can't do things a lot of the times on our own. We have to collaborate and, and work together to be successful. Well, you know, we have a great transportation system here similar to what you had in North Carolina that we're lined up to be able to transport students and faculty and uh, you mentioned accreditation. Does that necessarily have to slow down getting started on planning this and planning? Uh, to imp I know your plate's full, but can can we at least start talking about it? We we are talking about it, but but I will uh, just to be transparent and honest. Nothing takes precedence over getting that school accredited. If we lose our accreditation, nobody wins. Right. That is job one right now. I understand for our school. Anybody else have a question? Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. And we'll thank we'll you. work together on this. Okay, thank thank you. you. Okay, next item on the agenda is the Building and Grounds Committee. Stephen, can you give that when you were one that brought it to us and I haven't pulled it up? Yeah, it's got building grounds on the oh, agenda. On the roofing. Yeah. Yeah, basically, the, uh, at the buildings and grounds meeting, Mr. Um, Bowers brought in the copy of the uh, warranty for the roof on the, the, the new roof on the old courthouse down there. Um, Mr. Hale reviewed it, and there was a recommendation. Um, Mr. Hale, I don't know if you want to repeat your recommendation, but basically that the contractor confirmed that they built it to the specifications that were there and that the roof manufacturer confirmed that they agreed with that with the right specifications and get both of those letters on file to help strengthen our warranty on that roof. Yeah, I'd like to just explain why. Uh, that courthouse created a need for some details that weren't in their normal design manual. So we were shown the specialty details that were used on this job. And what I ask is that those details be covered and attached to the warranty contract. So if something comes up five years down the road, nobody remembers what happened. But if it's attached to the warranty, 
then everybody's agreed that that warranty covers these special details. Is there any, anything we need to vote on? I do not know of any action that you all need to take okay. at this time. Thank you, Joe. Uh, Economic Development Committee. Uh, Economic Development Committee met on September 3rd. We're recommending adopting the attached resolution in your board packet regarding House Bill 2 of three projects we feel are worthy of consideration. Also in that order. Okay, come from committee. It doesn't need a second. Any questions? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote. Dr. Housen? Aye. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, the chair votes aye. Uh, anything else from the Economic Development Committee? That's it. That's it. <coughs> uh, Rescue Squad Assistance Fund. Mr. Chairman, I have a letter from Mr. Kinsler. I'm sorry, I came down late last week. The Fire Rescue Committee meets Monday. It's coming. Uh, yes, sir. Fourteen. I would ask the full board to authorize the Fire and Rescue Committee to be discussed this request from Mr. Kenser. And so they feel it's strong enough that we can apply for this and allow them to uh, let us move forward with uh, making an application, knowing that there will be some additional funding to complete all the radio system for vehicles and personnel. Rescue squads in the okay, you've heard the request from the county administrator, his recommendation. I have a motion. I'll make that motion. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, I'll do a roll call vote, Dr. House. Aye. 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 All right. Aye. 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 Just for quick clarification. The Fire and rescue is usually third money. We need to make a special meeting on Monday. Yeah, it's got to be this month. Monday. Okay. Well, I had it down for Monday, huh? Yeah. I didn't Everything. Know it was. Well, I'm sorry. I, because that Tuesday starts the third week. I mean, you know, like the water committee is the third. So I apologize. But, yeah, if we can meet on Monday the 14th. I can find it here. Okay, uh, inform everybody on the Fire and Rescue Committee. The meeting is rescheduled for September the 14th instead of September the 21st right. at 8 a.m. Okay, next item on agenda is other. Mr. Dalton, is there any other business to bring for the board? Motivational lunch Friday. Motivational <laughs> lunch <Okay>. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is there anything else, Mr. Dalton? Yes. Does any board member have anything to bring for the board at this time? Uh, I've got another. Okay. Mr. Dalton, would it be appropriate? I, I went over the airport report. It, would it be appropriate to ask them, since obviously pilots can't write, uh, <laughs> to give us a summary? of airport activity. The summary would look like local flights, <coughs> uh, corporate visits, military visits. Just just give us a number that would be taken from these activities that, that I can't understand. And if, if anybody can understand them and read them, I, I'd like to know about it. But it's uh, I think it would not be unusual to ask for a legible summary of activities. 
that was an informal question. Can we do that uh, we as a provider? It tomorrow morning. We may do it tonight. One thing about the Air Force that we don't Seen up the sheets, they're having a flying. I think it's this coming weekend. It's the, I thought it was the 19th. 19th. It is the 19th, I think. I'm pretty sure it's the well, 19th. That's Saturday, two weeks. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Thompson, you know, they're going to repay the runway in 2016. Have we appropriated that money in this year's budget, or we will need to do that next year's budget? So it's it's not they don't in my opinion we should need to divvy it up equally and all four entities pay and the but Air it's Commission has got a grant from the state of Virginia for the local share of the construction projects three hundred some thousand short term loan zero percent debt. Anything else? Uh, this, uh, I see here we have an entire collection day. We are. Uh, we'll, how is everybody going to find that out? We're going to put notes in there. We're going to be handing out the uh, flyers at the convenience center. We should be advertising on the radio and the newspaper here shortly. Not only have that, but we also have household hazardous waste day coming up. I didn't see that anything. Uh, we were printing the brochures on that today. That's conducted by the Joint Public Service Authority. And that's in two weeks, two Saturdays. So, but we will be advertising both of those calls. Put the brochures out. Okay. The, the only difference in this year's uh, tire collection day, you've got to call for an appointment, so that everybody doesn't show up at the same time. Are they going to take tractor tires too? They are. We've got a grant from Farm Bureau bringing the trailer in only for implement tire, tire truck farm equipment. So that's being paid by Farm Bureau. Is it anybody can bring tractor tires or just Farm Bureau members? Anybody. Okay. We've got a truck there and our guys are loading it. If there's a tractor tire showed up, if Farm Bureau wants to do a tire day, they can surely and welcome to do it. Okay. They have a dinner for members. I was just thinking in the past it had been that way and I wanted to make sure that I wasn't wrong. Don't have a tractor tire, but if I showed up with one, I'd be disappointed if you didn't take. Have you had time to look for us a trash van? Any? I spoke with um, the sheriff about it last week, um, and he indicated that he had a website. What he had looked at so far was not within the price range of what we were looking at. I have not gotten the website from him yet, but he is indicating he's helping us look for something in the price range here. Okay. And I hope you feel better, Stephen. Thanks. You sound like you grouped <laughs> up. <laughs> Stephen, I thought when, when he was here and talked to us, he had one with a price on it, and we added a few dollars so it would be within the range. 
You were I, was, I was not at that meeting, Mr. Hallett, when I was gone, but Mr. Dalton asked me to get in touch with him, and I contacted the sheriff, and he indicated what was out there, and I don't remember exactly, but it was too large of a, uh, of a truck or a frame for, for what we needed with the price that was out there, and he was trying to find something that met within that range of what was being looked at. Okay. What we did agree with the sheriff is that we are not going to, probably not going to put a cage and stuff in the new van. It'd be a transportation van on. Well, what does the district transportation, what do they do with their vans when they... District 3? Yeah, District 3. What do they do with theirs? They put them out on surplus, but they don't have any right now. Because I've done check with them. And they won't, they had one, but they send it to a shop and it was it would cost too much to fix it uh, for us to buy this is what we'll do Joe. Stephen if you call uh, general services tomorrow down here and ask if he can look for one besides what the sheriff's still we'll get down on the federal website too that way we can they would find well a short bus if it was in good shape would do the job for us mm -hmm. mr shoemate down there general services he can I've talked to him on several vehicles before. He can help us locate anything that will, will meet the requirements. Well, we really need to expedite that because it's getting worse by the day with no activity on trash pickup. <coughs> I'll call him in the morning. Okay. Now, I. I have a question. You all said hazardous waste, and uh, uh, you were talking about the Sheriff's Department, and I, I had a. Um, I almost forgot this. Uh, I had a lady call. Um, whose husband had passed away, who just had a tremendous amount of medicine. Um, and uh, she wanted to know what to do with the medicine. I thought that the... We have, we have periodically, we clean social services and health department, the sheriff's office. There's a drug uh, contract that we do with the collection day. And we'll find that out. And I think there's one coming up here this fall. Well, if we can you know, do that and, and advertise it because, I mean, she was... I appreciate your calling, uh, but you know there are people out there that that do have all that leftover medicine, and we don't want them flushing it down the uh, you know to get into the water table. So, okay, well if we can find that out and advertise it, that'd be great. Southwest has a Southwest Drug Coalition group that meets on a monthly basis and advertises the issues and schedules. I'll send them an email and ask them when. Okay, thank you. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. I, I just happened to think about that when you said hazardous waste in the police. Well, it's a good thing we have us at the end. We can think of everything <coughs> we're, we forgot during the week. Well, hearing nothing else, I declare us adjourned.